Hello! Today we will be detailing all of the options in the data menu portion of your Genesis or Genesis Mini controller. First, to get to the data menu, let's navigate to the menu page with the green button in the bottom left corner. Here you can see seven different options. To select an option, simply use the scroll bar to find the one that you want and press the desired option. Today that will be data menu. Here you can see another list of options and press the one that you want. Right now we're going to start with last firing status, number one. In this menu you can see all of the details of the last firing all the way from amps down to cost if you have that set up. Press back to return to the main menu. They also have a graph here in case that's interesting. Number two is the last error status. This menu contains information specific to the last error that was encountered by the controller when firing. It's an important thing to note that around halfway down you can see error code, which in this case, a couple months ago, was error code 1. You can find a list of all error codes on pages 23 and 24 of our manual, which is available in the description. Next up, we have number three, factory diagnostic. This section contains exactly that, diagnostic information from the kiln manufacturer, including amperage readings for each second section, line voltage readings, and board output. This is useful for comparison to the manual diagnostic tests. See our video on how to run manual diagnostic tests for more information, linked in the description. Number four is last element change. It contains more diagnostic information from the last new element diagnostics, including the amperage, line voltage readings, and the board output. This can be used in conjunction with the new element diagnostic option available in the diagnostic menu. And it shows the last result from running that test. So back in data menu, we can go to option 5, which is last manual diagnostics. And like talked about in our running manual diagnostics test video, it shows the result of the last manual diagnostics. This one is all connected with uh, the factory diagnostics in that you compare your results from your manual diagnostics test to what they're supposed to be from the factory. Next up is number six, graph past firing. Pressing on this will show us a list of the past 10 firings. You can use the scroll bar again to scroll all the way back down to the bottom to view all of them. And you should also keep in mind that if Wi-Fi was connected during the firing, the month and day will be displayed next to the firing, like so. If Wi-Fi is not connected, it will simply display 0, 0. They are also listed in order from newest to oldest. And finally, we have number 7, Kiln Info which shows us various important info about the system, including the version number, um, the network you are connected to, and the max temperature of the kiln. It also contains the serial number and MAC address for your kiln so that you can register and view your kiln at our website, um, as well as the Kiln Aid app. The information is crucial when setting up that app to use with your controller. And more information about that is linked in the description. And that's all. Uh, for a quick refresher, more detailed information or to look at any other processes, remember that we have the full manual available online, and it's also linked in the description. You can find all of these processes on pages 17 through 18 in the manual. Check out the description for other useful links as well, like to our great Kilnade app used for monitoring your kiln from your smartphone. And remember to like our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter or Instagram for the latest updates and information. We also have an e-newsletter for other information and tips. You can also see many other tutorials on YouTube uh, and on our channel for any other issues you might have or need. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.